What's up, everybody? Derek G here. And, um... Yeah, I'm just farming credits. I just recorded... I don't know, a bunch of random... Credit farming races. And now I'm gonna talk over these. So, like... Just to explain that I'm not racing these races... As I speak to you... Right now. I just raced them, like, 15 minutes ago or whatever. And now I'm gonna talk over these races. You know, I don't know. I'm just farming, so the point... The point is, it's not it's not lap times. It's not speed. It, it's flat spins and barrel rolls and you know traffic knockdowns. Um, you want to hit obstacles. Those are all the farming techniques. You know, do as many flat spins as you possibly can. You know, and hit as many obstacles and, and as much traffic and get near misses and all that stuff. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do in order to get the max amount of points. And of course, you know, when you're farming, to me, farming means you're running a double credit. You know, like, you know, in other words, there's no point in actually racing these races without running a double credit. You know, it, it's, uh, it's just not worth it. It's not worth the time. So, if you're just going to race your max races just to drive a bunch of your cars one day, you know, and you're going to blow an hour, hit a double credits, dude. That's that's what I do. And then, you know, you'll come back later because you're running that double credits. You'll come back and you'll run another through a bunch of more of your cars because I just run through my cars. I have so many cars. Like, what, what did it say? Um, I guess I could look on my phone right now, huh? Yeah, I play on an iPhone 6S Plus, by the way. And um, the video is streamed through Lonely Screen. So it's a Wi-Fi, you know, mirror mirroring program. So any kind of drag or glitches or screen freezes and shit you see happen in, the, in my races here doesn't happen on my phone. My phone is always nice and smooth and, and clean and fast. Cause it's you know it's a 64 gig one actually but anyway what I was saying how many cars I have yeah if I'm to run a double credits and try to drive my entire stock of cars in, in this game for one you know it would take probably five or six hours just to drive the cars I have just once just down the max races yeah just, just to drive them down the map. What does it say here? Let's see. 185 for 203. So I have 185 cars. Um, three of them aren't maxed yet. Because I, I, just, I just got them. What did I just get? I just bought the McLaren P1 for 2.7 million credits. I bought that Tar, the Tar Montana car. For 800 grand. Because, you know, those are uh, token only cars. And they had them on sale for credits. So I farmed and snagged both cars. So both those cars, I need to max out still. And then there was the Icona Volcano. That I got enough blueprints. And I put that together. And I've been, that's the first one I got. And then I bought these other two cars. You know, after after dumping, after maxing the uh, that new Hot Wheels car, right? The the bone what, bone shaker, yeah, bone shaker. So I maxed that car already, and the Pagani is maxed also for the R and D Pagani, which I'm probably not gonna get, but I got uh, 16 of 20 blueprints. So whatever, dude. I'm sitting on a lot of cars. I'm I'm really this close to getting a lot of cars. In blueprints, I mean, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not really talking about these races. I'm just kind of babbling on. Uh, I'm showing you my races. They're just raw races, unedited. You can see I'm just playing the game. Where if I wreck, you see me wreck. Uh, I, I don't I don't quit when I wreck. <laughs> When I'm farming, you just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I remember I drove, uh, let's see, what am I going to drive next? Do I drive, I drive the Bentley, right? Yeah. This thing is nasty, dude. I almost have it, Max Pro. It's like Max and 2233 three or something like that. Or maybe it's 3344. Four. I don't remember. But it doesn't matter. I reckon this race right off right here, right? <laughs> because I landed on this fucking guy. Watch it. Watch this. Thing. I land on these guys. Boom. Crash. <laughs> it's kind of funny. To me, it's funny. But then they, you know, because I'm on an iPhone, I'm put way back like that. So now it's not a struggle, obviously, to catch these guys. But, you know, you do kind of miss it. You do want to come in first when you're farming, so you kind of miss out on... You can miss out when this happens. You can miss out on flat spins and the extra stuff you would do to, to get extra things. You know, I just try to hit extra stuff and get extra knockdowns, you know? Knockdowns are good money. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's right, I drove the, I, I drive the Mercedes, is I drive the Mercedes next? Yeah, man, I've been, um, pounding that, I don't know, it's that crazy long Mercedes, AMG, SLM, blah, 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 whatever the hell it is, um, at London, you know, and I've been nailing the bridge, I've been nailing, I've been nailing the ramp, on the left side, you know, when you take off, you you go through that little S turn, and you hit the uh, you hit the ramp, and instead of going straight and landing under the tunnel, I've been I've been flying across the water all, all the way over to the uh, yeah there it was there it was right there yeah this thing yeah the coupe touring car 2014 you see what I mean it's a giant long title of a car. Watch this. I wonder if anybody else has ever done this, even by accident. I mean, I'm just here having fun. So I, the other, it, it happened to me the other night, where I got kind of pushed off that way because I was, I was wrecking these guys out, and one of them got in my way or whatever. Like this, look, see. And um, I took off again, and they were all in my fucking way. And so I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That. And I got pushed off, and I went flying over this way. <laughs> Yeah, see, that to me is fun, and I got to nail this barrel roll, and I got three more barrel rolls in there, full, fully juiced, and I still get to knock these guys down, you know, because so, it's not about lap time. It was about having fun, and this race was fun, dude. I had fun this time around here, even though I've driven this car a million times around this track. Maybe, probably not a million, of course I'm exaggerating, but it's you know, tens, it's probably a good 10 or 20,000 times around this track, man. And this time I had a blast, man. It was fun. So, it's more about fun than anything else. But the prices and the multiplayer and the competition, the competitiveness and everybody taking it so damn seriously really ruins the fun. It sucks the fun out of it. You're like fun vampires and you just suck the fun out of the game. Like, it's an arcade racer, so lap times don't matter. You know, lap times, why would a lap time matter in an arcade racer? Like, think about it. If you really want to race lap times, you know, and and make it, and, and have it actually matter, then you need to race a sim, you know? A simulation where, where there are no crazy glitches that make you go faster. Or, and, and juice and all this other add-on shit, barrel rolls and blah, blah, blah. Y you know, like, yeah, okay, lap times are one thing, but this game is filled with so much more that, you know, lap times don't matter. It's, you know, they got a million other achievements besides a lap time or coming in first in multiplayer. Yeah. And when they say, oh, this car sucks, so don't buy it, that's not true. That's not true. You know what I mean? They they have time limited events for for um all kinds of tag racing. Tag tag racing events where they give you three cars in one race. 
And w if you don't own those cars that they offer, you know, if you don't own them, then you can't race the race. So there is no useless... Well, so far, the, the what's useless in this game is these motorcycles. The motorcycles are useless, and, and the Hot Wheels cars are useless. But every other car in the game has a master race. Um, you can earn licenses, open up spots in your storage. There's all kinds of rewards throughout the way. There's double credit rewards. There's extra tanks. There's um, collection rewards, max collection rewards. And those rewards are big. You know, they're big, dude. When I got that BXR, right? That's what I drive. Do I drive the BXR? I drive the BXR next, right? That's what it's called. Where is it? Right there. Right there. The Bailey. The BXR Bailey. When I got this, it finished off one of my collections. When I maxed it, it finished off the max collection. And I got like 750,000 credits for finishing off that max collection. Like, granted, it's, it, it's not a big payout or anything like that, but, you know, it's something. So they can't say that these cars don't give you anything. You know, uh, some of the uh, one of the master races for this car gave paid out 150 tokens. Now that that is something. That is a payout, dude. You know what I mean? So when you look at the master races for these cars, sometimes you get 100 tokens in there, 200 tokens, 300 tokens, and those are payouts, dude. That's a good payout. So all the cars are worth something in the game. So when they say, "Oh, the Golf GTI is a piece of shit. Don't buy it," that's not true. It's not true. You'll need it because they'll come up with a tag event where, where that is the only one, or an enduro down, or something, where that car, would is your best option. Okay, so it's not a piece of shit when it becomes the best option, and they shuffle it all up. There's 200 cars. There's 203 cars in this game, so I got my 185 ready to go. There's not much they could throw at me that I, I can't compete in. You know, sometimes there's some races where I don't have the car and I can't I can't race it because it's not a free try. You know what I mean? But that's few and far between. It does does that ever happen to me? You know, um, I'm just gonna drive my Cadillac here. I think because because I bought that token paint job because it was like 50% off or something the other day and it's a badass paint job dude right so I was like fuck it that's one of the only paint jobs I ever paid tokens for is this Cadillac right here and you know again I'm not here to beat a lap time or show you anything new <laughs> I'm just here to knock these fuckers down and uh get some credits and whatever you know yeah dick around and, and see what happens see if i could get 18 barrel rolls from some glitch you know what i mean because <laughs> you all know that it happens where you hit the ramp at some crazy angle and ching 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 you get you know you get like a shitload of barrel rolls or flat spins in like no time and that's really what the game is about it's an arcade racer like look at that dude five flat spins I landed perfect in there yeah I've gone around this used to be my credit farming car in the beginning when I first got the game it was one of the first cars that I had max pro and uh yeah I have all the paint jobs and that's why I bought another paint job for it because I'm like I got all these paint jobs already this is like the only one left <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway, there were some farming races and some babble to go with it. But anyway, farming credits and own all the cars, man, because you never know at the time limited events they're going to throw a tag racing at you or an enduro, and you're going to need the cars. Yep. And perfect nitros help you save juice, by the way, just in case you forgot. Short taps for short sprints, long stretches get perfect nitros. That's kind of how it goes. So, anyway, with that, I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>